Welcome to Tomahawk DIY. Today we're taking a look at some basement storage shelving that you can build with uh, some fairly straightforward tools and a little bit of lumber uh, and some elbow grease. Putting together these shelves uh, is quite easy to do. Let's take a look. In this case, uh, this basement room has been turned into a food pantry. You can use the same shelving techniques for a myriad of other uh, storage uses. To start your shelves, uh, determine the width of the shelves that you want and the, the height or location where you'll be placing them. I've used uh, one by three strips secured to the studs in the wall. And then in front of these, I've used some two by two lumber uh, to make our vertical supports. These can sit on the ground and run up in this case. I've run it all the way up to the uh, joists at the top of the ceiling uh, to secure them. If for whatever reason you can't run all the way to the ceiling, that's uh, not necessary. Now it's important to think about how you'll assemble the shelves. Uh, if you put your vertical posts up before you put the shelving material in, you'll end up with short sections of your uh, plywood. The plywood that I've used, by the way, is uh, half inch or uh, or 3 8 inch OSB board um, depending on the weight of what you're shelving it doesn't need to be too uh, hefty of wood but you can take a long section such as this here about a, a six foot long length um, cut in this case about 18 inches deep and to the front of that if you secure a 1 by 3 or a 2 by 4 uh, with some screws going down through the top you can pick up this entire assembly, set it on the back, secure the shelf to the back brace, and then secure your 2x2 um, two two posts to the front, uh, and that will allow you to, to assemble larger sections all at once. If you desire at the back of each uh, post here, you can provide some added support by either gluing or nailing or screwing in a piece of wood on the back of the 2x2. Two to provide added strength. Under the shelves, you'll see I've uh, inserted some cross members like this that uh, provide some added strength and rigidity to the shelving system. I've found it helpful to put some uh, small 1 by 2 strips kind of as end cap and back uh, boards on the shelves to prevent items from sliding off the back. You can vary your shelving depth uh, depending on the nature of what you're storing. Uh, here I've got some about two and a half foot deep shelves, other areas uh, 18 inch and even 12 inch shelves. Uh, and then additionally, if you consider what you're going to be storing, you can vary the height of your shelving. As you plan your shelving system, look for ways to increase your capacity. One example is creating a small uh, inlet here that uh, provides some added depth and shelving uh, capacity. Thanks for watching Tomahawk DIY. I hope you've learned something in the process about building a simple straightforward shelving system. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos and leave comments, like the video, let me know what's, what works and what doesn't.